Apfel Doctor Germany, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello and welcome to the micro soldering show. And today in the morning I just want to do a fast video with you because I, um, I have a date at my tattoo artist today so I won't be at the company and <coughs> we have to be really fast because in about one hour I have to go and I have a date at my tattoo artist to finish my left arm and perhaps I get two little other things I have to talk to the best one Sasha from Sasha Linz Tattoo. It's really one of the best tattoo artists I have ever seen. He, um, he got so many prizes within the last years and for realistic he's just a monster I can tell you. So um, I have an enhanced camera again I just can't fix it or like it should be and the flickering should be better and it should work without any delay okay it's an iPhone 8 it, ca it came in because it uh, has a water damage it's a water damaged phone the customer told me and um, he wants to get the important data the phone wouldn't work anymore at all and I only want to check if this is really like he tells me the phone was already opened because it just was very easy to get it to get it opened so I know somebody was already already working on that just need to get out the screws here and after that we can start right away <coughs> by repairing the device. I still I'm still a little bit sick. That's not the best condition to go to the tattoo artist I know, but today it's not a big session because it's only um, do some do some little things here on the arm and then it's okay. But um, if you got a big session and you are sick, it's not good to to do tattoo. Okay. I just want to check by power supply what's happening. And it's interesting. It's a low short, about 20 milliamps. And if I try to boot, nothing happens. Okay, let's get out the board and see what we got here. Because the behavior on the power supply is like it's going up to about 100 milliamps and down to 50 milliamps and up again to 100 and down again. So that's not a normal boot behavior. So let's see what we can do here. We just get out the board. Okay. Okay, let's see under the microscope. We want to have a look for what damage because the customer told. Oh, what is that? What is that here? Do you see here? Here is some some signs of solder. Here the MOSFET has already been done but 
they renewed the gum around the FPC, so they did it, they did it fine. Here you can see that all, somebody was already working on that. Let's see on the back side. Let's see on the back side. Okay. Okay, you see here is a little bit of flux came possibly from heating up the other side so flux can come out of the solder on some other parts which are soldered down what about the top I don't see corrosion. So why they tell it's a water damaged phone? Because I just don't see corrosion here. Let's get it to the power supply again without hope we don't get any lags in the video now because then I I will be angry okay okay I have to open just a second got short short here now about 40 milliamps let's see let's take the thermal and just check by that That's nice. That's really, really nice. Do you see that here? Forty milli or fifty milli? No, forty milliamps short. On, I think it's the Tigris I see on an iPhone eight. Let's have, a, let's have a look under the microscope. I just want to don't get any lags. Okay, I hope we won't have any lags now. Here, it's short and tigress I see. Okay, so I would say I just deactivate the main cam. So we don't get any lags. I don't want to waste to waste the video later because it's the only one I can do today. I really hope it works. Microscope. Let's see why. 
why we could have any legs here no should work so I just take some flux some flux right onto the IC And we can take out our typers here. I don't have activated the heat plate, so it just takes a longer time. I'll take a little bit more of hot air so we can get it out faster. Okay, done. Now we do cleaning of the pads. Like always, you can move the preheater under your microscope very good and so you can clean, the clean under the IC in a very good way. Okay, it's done. Now we can just clean by using the brush. can just take a picture. Now I just need a new IC. We should have it here. 8 plus Tigris. 8 and 8 plus. I got it. Just another picture because today I can't do much pictures. I will be not here. Some flux. Put the IC down to the right position. And then we can, the board is not lying good here, and then we can just solder down.
Okay, it's done. Wait a short time for cooling down. And after that, yeah, I can give you on hands, it's okay. And after that, we can just have a look if the short has been gone. And we don't have a short anymore at all. So now we can just get on the screen, get on the ambient light sensor, the front flex, because otherwise the screen will move down the brightness. Yeah, short has been gone. We try to boot. And boom! <coughs> we are back to life again with our iPhone 8. After just a little short in the Tigris IC itself. So where is the, the old IC? I want to see that. I don't know where it is. But not, ah, here it is. So you see, it's working fine again and it was only a problem with this little Tigris I see. You can see it here, okay? So I hope you liked the video. If yes, give me a thumbs up. And um, just one moment, just activate the main cam. So I hope we don't have any lags in the video. <coughs> if you want to learn things like that, you can do that easily at the Bottle Lab Repair School Germany. If you are working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets, you can join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. Please answer the questions, otherwise you won't be accepted. I'm out. We see you with the next video. Boom! Back to life again. Here's Ben.